Guys, it's John bringing you a new video on the 4090. Pretty much 4K gaming at 400 FPS. So, we're talking about for all the normal benchmarks for like Doom Eternal and for Rainbow Six Siege 383, right around 350 to 400 FPS, if not like 600 FPS, is what you're looking at. So, I have some more down here, but they're kind of like outdated. And the 4090 does, I think, like 300 in this game average FPS for sure. And on Death Stranding, it does probably, I think, like 350 for sure. So, here's some other stats we recorded on normal PCs. All the normal PCs are to the left, like the low numbers, 500, 225, 150, 245, and like all the stuff there. Those are all the low-end PCs with the 4090. And then it goes all the way to like the high-end PCs where they can do like a lot of FPS. But they're super expensive. They're like $20,000 from Digital Storm. But they're not too expensive. Like, it would just be like, once you get over that loop, where you think it's kind of not worth a new car, but it is worth a new car. And you can be like, working from home and just do like a Shopify store that does like good work. So... What I did here is I took the average FPS, I put it at the, kind of like the, uh -huh. excuse me, the Quarry 9 10980 XE, and I just did it on the one they pretty much are going to do in the future, the Intel one, that'll be pretty much the exact same but top of the line Intel, that's kind of like on the median high end range, but it's still like really good and can do like normal games and stuff and still compete and stream. So these are all the ones on the right. I highlighted them. So at PUBG for the normal one, it's right around 900 FPS. For Call of Duty, it's 700 FPS. For 4K Call of Duty, it's 400. For Anthem, 4K is 400. Battlefield is 650. Left 4 Dead, 750. Elder Scrolls Online, 4K is 400. And Fortnite's right around 700 to like 1,500 FPS. So. And that's on like the really top of the line ones that are made to like do like top of the line movies and stuff. So these are all the specs. I highly recommend just from Dow's recommendation and Jason's to definitely buy the new the new 4090. It's definitely worth it. And all the 3090 ones down here, like this is like a really good example. The 3090 does like right around 220. It's right around like twice the frames. On most like games so you'll be doing like two times the frames like it's an exact kind of value of like so it's right around 18,000 cores and the RTX 3090 is only I think like 10,000 or 11,000 so you see the cores here being used like very well and it's a double chip so I recommend everyone who has a 3090 or below a 4090 to buy the 4090 and this is a good time to definitely buy the 4090 because it's the time where the 4090 is definitely definitive and based on having a good run with like 4K. Like the 3090 could barely do Rainbow Six Siege at I think like 4K and barely get like a decent amount. Like I think you had to run non 4K and like medium graphics to get like a 600 FPS. But on the new card you get like 400 FPS for sure. So you know what you guys think, drop in the comments, you need help, a like, what to get for a new computer, or you guys are just interested in my new game, Legends Among Us. So it's pretty much a game where you can pick up, and it'll be kind of like Fallout-like. If you saw the new Fallout 76, they did West Virginia, we're going to do like the whole United States, kind of like an Armageddon one. We had to like battle the forces of like mythology and shit. And it'll be cool, like in the future we expect to have like live animals, so go check it out, like live dragons. Yo, what's up guys, it's Dow, it's just bringing you the last part of the video, whether or not you should buy the 4090 or not when it gets released. So pretty much you should buy the 4090 as soon as you don't have one, or as soon as you only use like 4080s and stuff. Like I highly recommend, if you have a 4080, it only does like maybe like 350 FPS to highly get the 4090 year regardless. So always buy the 4090 if you don't have one. And wait for the new Intel card to come out in the next, like, year and a half. So my recommendation, the final recommendation would be if you don't already have a 4090, or you don't have 4090 SLIs to buy a 4090, 
but I recommend just buying a 4090, installing and using it, and waiting for the new chip to come out from Intel. Because a new Intel chip in the next year, whenever the 4090 gets released, should be pretty good to handle the load for the 4090. The new chip right now can't even, I think, handle the load, like barely under like 40% of it. So I w recommend waiting like seven months to a year, and then just like pre-ordering it, like at least like maybe two for normal. They're just buying for themselves normal PCs. If not, if you're like an investor, I recommend buying like probably 10 if you could. And then just selling them on the side like on eBay for like a thousand more dollars. That's what I see most people doing nowadays at like new computer parts sales. So I recommend to do that. And subscribe, like the channel. It'll help you out. If not, we'll be releasing new content. And we'll be releasing new talks about the game, and we'll be talking in depth about our game, Legends Among Us, me and my, my game. So let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later, and it should be out in the next, like, 10 years. If not, if we do a super long quest line, it'll be out within, like, 50 years, but the quest line will be, like, probably five years. So we know what you guys think, and have a good day. Jason out, doubt out. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, uh, I'm i trying to do a video pretty much within seven minutes of if to know the 4090 is worth it or not. So let me know what you guys thought. I thought it was helpful for the most part. It just kind of went on a little bit long in some of the like explaining stuff. But if not, it didn't go on too long. It's pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a sub. Reminder helps the channel. We're still growing. And I'll be unveiling probably in the future Mythic Games. If not, I'll be unveiling some like early dev ones we're doing. We're still like compiling stuff for them. Like I forget what it is, just content in general. But just content in general, like new DLCs and stuff to finish up the storyline. So what you guys think? I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Doubt out.